Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding get the second most recent activity and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Microsoft interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called user activity with four different columns, username, activity, start date and end date. And these are the data types. There is no primary key for this table. It may contain duplicates. Okay. This table contains information about the activity performed by each user in a period of time. A person with username performed an activity from start date to end date. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to show the second most recent activity of each user. If the user only has one activity, return that one. A user cannot perform more than one activity at the same time. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have two different users, Alice and Bob, and they perform different activities during different time, right? So. For Alice, Alice performed three different activities in different duration, right? So what is the latest one? This one, right? So 24th of February 2020 to 28th of February 2020, right? The second recent is 21st of February 2020 to 23rd of February 2020. So for Alice, what we need to do, what we need to return is Alice dancing 21st of February 2020 to 23rd of February 2020. But for Bob, there is only one activity and the question says that if there is only one activity, return that one, right? So for Bob, we return this one and that is going to be the output. Okay. So to start building this query, the first thing that we need to do is from this user activity, let's only keep the distinct values, right? So basically it, the question says, since there is no primary key for this table, the first thing that we should do is, you know, try to make sure that each of the rows that we have is unique, right? Why? Because here it says that we need to get the second most recent activity. So basically for each of the user, we need to, you know, rank which is the latest activity, which is the second most, third most, fourth most, right? And if there is duplication, then it might be difficult to, you know, rank different or basically it might be difficult to get the true second most recent activity, right? So that is why let's go ahead and first what we need to do is so from this table called so this table is called user activity, right? So from this user activity, let's only keep those rows where all the rows are different, right? So basically just keep unique rows. So distinct star, right? So basically, let's say, so obviously, let's say this uh, for Alice, right? There was another row, right? With exactly same definition, right? So it will only keep one of those two rows, right? So that is what we need to do. And then let's store this in a common table expression. So with CTE as, and this is our first common table expression. Now, using this common table expression, what we are doing is we are creating another common table expression. But in that case, what we are doing is so once we have the distinct rows, then we can create a fifth column, which basically ranks for each of the users, the activities from the most recent to the least recent, right? So from this common table expression, right? Let's keep all the columns and then let's create the fifth column, which is basically ranking, right? So now, as I have already discussed in my previous videos, there are three ways we can rank things. Row number, rank and dense rank. I am going forward with row number here. So, so and since row number is a window function, we write the over clause and for each of the users and most recent date, we need to rank, right? So partition by user name, then order by start date in decreasing manner, right? So the latest activity will get rank one. And then what we do is we rank using row number. And let's alias this column as rank. 
Now, what we need to do is we can also count that for each of the users, how many activities did they perform, right? So, and since we have already taken care that, you know, only distinct rows are going to be present. So whatever activities that we count now, it is going to be on different dates, how many activities were there. So for example, for Alice, right? So she did travel twice, but these were on different dates, right? So basically in total, there were three different activities performed by Alice, right? So that is what I mean. So again, for each of the partitions or basically each of the username, we can count the number of activities. So let's, you know, count the number of activity and partition over. Uh, and since we are using a window function count, right? So over partition by username, right? And then let's alias this column as number of activity, right? So now we have this, right? So this can be another common table expression, right? So CTE two has, and then this is what we have. So now what basically this will have. So CTE two is going to have, so all since all uh, the rows here are already distinct. So, you know, it is going to keep all the rows. Then there is going to be a fifth column called RNK rank. Right. And here this will be assigned rank one. This is going to be rank two. This is going to be rank three, right? For different users based on start date in decreasing manner. And then for Bob, since there is only one, so this will be assigned rank one. There will be a sixth column called number of activities where Alice, like for these three rows, it is going to be three, right? Because they are three activities on different dates. And then for Bob, it is going to be one. Now, what do we need to do? So from this common table expression, what we need to do is we need to keep the second most recent activity, right? So second most recent activity means rank is equal to two. And if the user only has one activity, right? So then we return that activity. So from this common table expression, we keep only those rows where rank is equal to two. So basically the second most recent activity, if that is not going to be the case, then or the number of activity, right? So number of activity is equal to one, right? So if like, if you see these are mutually exhaustive lists, right? Why? Because if there is, if we have rank is equal to two, then for certain number of activity is at least going to be two in that case, right? Then that is why, you know, you are getting rank two there, right? And if you have number of activity is equal to one, right? So then the rank is going to be one. So these two lists won't coincide with each other, each other, right? So that is why, and that is how we are going to take care of both these cases. That is return the second most recent one, or if there is no second most recent one, or basically there is only one activity, then you return that. And once you have that, then we can return these four different columns. Remember, you cannot write select star because if you see CT2 has these four columns plus two columns that we constructed, right? So we need to write the specific name. So select username, activity, then start date, right? And then end date. Okay, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, this seems and this has been marked a hard question, but actually if you think about it, it is not that way, that difficult, right? It is all we need to do is try to make sure that the rows that we are keeping are distinct. So basically there is no repetition because then that is going to mess up with the ranking part, right? And then secondly, 
uh, once we have that, then we rank based on the most recent to the oldest one, right? And then we keep make sure that either we keep when the rank is two or we keep when the number of activities is equal to one and then we return the desired columns, right? And that is how we do it. Let me know if you can do this using dense rank or rank function and how will this query change in that case? Let me know in the comment section. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.